friends, welcome back to the second episode of Chakra Healing and Balancing Out Your Chakras with the different Mudra Asanas. So in this video, we're going to talk about the chakras and the different organs connected to it. So let's start first with the crown chakra. Now the crown chakra is connected with your pineal gland. It is the chakra which is deciding the condition of your endocrine system, complete endocrine system, which is connecting all the different hormonal activities in your body. Now the next chakra is the Agya chakra or the third eye chakra. This is connected to your pituitary gland and the pituitary gland is taking care of your complete nervous system. That means it is giving or sending signals to all your different body parts and your metabolism and your body temperature is also taken care of by this chakra. Let's go to the next chakra over here. So the next chakra is the throat chakra which is connected to your thyroid glands. Thyroid glands are taking care of your body temperature, your metabolism. So that's what decides whether you're going to gain weight or you're going to lose weight or your weight is going to be balanced. And this is also taking care of your respiratory system also. Complete breathing, breathe in and breathe out system also. Let's go next to the heart chakra. The heart chakra is also taking care of or the Anahata chakra is also taking care of your thymus gland. Now, what does the thymus gland do? You must have heard about T-cells. If not, go and check out the Google. T-cells are being produced over here by the thymus glands, which are actually taking care of your immune system and making sure that you don't develop cancerous cells all over your body. Yes, it stops cancer to spread around. So, it's a very important chakra. So, be happy, be in love, love yourself. If you want to feel comfortable in your body and not develop any form of cancer in your body, Next chakra, let's go down over here, the happiness chakra or this, or this is also known as the Manipur chakra. This is a chakra of happiness and this is controlling all your pancreatic glands. So all your digestion is being taken care of by this chakra over here. Happiness. So if you're not happy, if you're not content with your life, your digestive system, what is happening to your digestion? How good are you? Are you constipated? Or are you having loose motions? Well. All that is decided by your happiness index over here. Next, let's go ahead. Let's go to the sex chakra. This is a chakra which is actually taking care of your reproductive system. So your reproduction is also being taken care of from here. And also your creativity. Overuse of this reproductive system. I understand and you also might be understanding. Overuse of this is actually going to make all your other chakras imbalanced. You see, this is a chakra which is the heat sector chakra. This is the coolest chakra, cool, cool chakra. And then this is a balance chakra. That means neither hot nor cold. Love is balanced. And from down over here, then you have the other chakra which are getting hotter. So heat chakras. Obviously, you need the heat for your digestive system to do well, right? So warmth, that means happiness makes you feel warm and comfortable. So if you're warm and happy, that means your digestive system is doing good. Sexual chakra, overheated chakra is not at all good. Balance of this chakra, sexual chakra is going to take care of all the other chakras. Put this chakra also into balance. Overuse of sexual chakra is not love, by the way. Love is different and this chakra is different, which we're going to talk about or explore in the couple of next videos. I hope you keep on seeing them. So let's go further down. Let's go to the basic chakra, foundation, financial status status in the society and uh, also your conditions living conditions they all are deciding the condition of this chakra and your skeletal system is actually decided by this so right from your childhood if you're feeling insecure around your parents or if you don't have a parent in your life or well, let's say single mothers or single parents then yes it actually affects the skeletal system the muscular system the leanness the body weight gain or no gain or even it's going to decide your growth that means the growth hormone that means whether you're going to grow taller or shorter well if you are somebody who has been insecure throughout your life you can understand you could have had stunted growth muscular uh, ir uh, irregular growth in a muscle system or maybe too lean muscles or too strong muscles some kind of imbalance would be there in your complete system and maybe joint aches. So whenever you're feeling insecure in your life, you'll have joint aches. Whenever you're thinking about, I don't have enough joint aches. So let's go ahead. And in the next video, we're going to talk about how 
you can actually balance all these chakras and take care of all the dis-ease in your body so that you are completely balanced. Well, I in my life, I get up in the morning around 4, between 4 to 4, 5. In this period of time, what I am doing is I am sitting in my mudra asans, I am doing different mudras, I am taking care of my different chakras through these mudra asans, I am taking care of the energy circulation in my body. Obviously, the energy circulation in my body is to be generated from somewhere, right? So the soul is the one which is going to generate. Have you seen my first video? If you have not seen the first video, go and check out the first video first before listening to this video. Because in the first video, I've talked about how the soul is the energy, soul is thinking, and that is why you are generating all the different energies in your body. So, coming back again, soul, knowledge, indigo color, crown, wisdom, violet color, peace, throat chakra, blue color, heart chakra, love, green color, happiness, Manipur chakra, or the solar plexus chakra, yellow color, this is Swadhisthana chakra or the sexual energy chakra, purity related to it, golden color, and then you have the base chakra, base chakra is red in color. That is power. That means you feel powerful or you feel insecure in your life. So that is the most important foundation of your life. So that is the most important chakra in your life. So now, if you have understood all these chakras and the different kind of systems which are attached to it, if I missed out something, I'll continue with it in the next video. So keep on watching this video. In the third episode, we're going to come along with the different mudra asans, how to balance our chakras, how to go from activating the chakras and purifying them from downwards and up till the wisdom so that your wisdom chakra is open so hang in there keep on watching and do subscribe to the video and spread the good news share this video with as many people as possible let the good news go out let the spiritual life awaken in everybody's life thank you so much for watching this take care and see you for the next video bye bye Oh, 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 oh,